Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to Wicked Cuff Bear. In today's video, we are going to ask the question, what are drowners? So, first off, drowners are not actually people that have been dragged to the bottom of ponds and then turned into these creatures that are slimy and green and blue and uh, just these disgusting messes of anatomy. These creatures are actually not even related to humans in any way. They might look like them from distances, but in actual fact, they are completely different. They're a completely different species from human, and they have gills and scaly skin, and they're a lot more amphibious than human beings could ever be. Drowners, along with their more dangerous cousins, uh, Vodniks, Muknikas, and Drowned Dead, all basically like to cluster near human settlements in ponds and lakes and areas where it's very murky and swampy. They're excellent swimmers and it basically means that they can tack and basically wait for passing travellers or just survive on scraps of rubbish or meat from dead carcasses. They're very cowardly creatures and also very very stupid, so using Axie against them will have little to no effect along with poisons which they are basically immune to because they literally live in what is the equivalent of a toxic waste dump. So anything related to the mind or to toxic toxicity, anything that's toxic, they will be immune to it. Attacking one drowner is a pretty easy job, but attacking a pack of them can be pretty difficult because they will overrun you pretty fast and believe me you can take a lot of damage very quickly if they just take a few swings at you. It's best to try and do the same thing you would do with goals where you lead one away and try and kill it off and then you lead another and then you try and like just break up the pack a little bit. Drowners are quite weak to Igni and they have this thing they do when you kill one of their pack. They will sort of screech in pain and almost be stunned for a few seconds where you can get either get in there and hit a few of them or you can blast them with Igni which will possibly set some of them alight. Alternatively, you can also use Yarden on them and trap them all into one place, setting them on fire, or if you have uh, a lot of toxic mist around you, you can set that on fire, which will basically create an explosion, but you gotta make sure you are pretty far away from that shit. You can counter their attacks, um, which will also deal damage to them because you're using a sword, but they will also be able to rise from the ground below you, so make sure you watch out for anything that's bubbling, because they will come up and, well, surprise but sick. To find these creatures, from what I recall and from what I've played, uh, most of them are in Velen and they are in Skellige, mostly around the waterfronts, but there aren't a lot of lakes there. In Velen, you're going to find a lot of them everywhere, and these buggers become so annoying toward the end of the game because, you know, level 5 drowners and the wolves, you just have to keep killing them and killing them, and, you know, they're not even dangerous um, if you're playing on just kind of like the medium level difficulty. They're just annoying at the end, and you're probably just going to avoid attacking them anyway. And obviously, being classed as a necrophage, they are weak to necrophage oil. And if you're a lonely witcher who's out on his luck and trying to see if he can conjure up some sort of monster meat from these creatures and you need supplies, then basically the average loot these guys drop is Drowner Brain, Drowner Tongue, Monster Blood, Monster Bone, Monster Claw, and Monster Heart. All of which can be very useful when crafting armors or any particular type of potions. So that's about it on Drowners, guys. These are pack animals, a lot like the gulls, which will swarm you, but as long as you stay away and keep your distance and just attack them one by one, then you should be fine. Like I said, as you get later onto the game, the lower level ones are just a one-hit kill, so don't worry too much about them. However, when you sort of start playing any of the DLC missions, everything's leveled up for you, so um, they can be kind of dangerous, so don't take them too lightly, which is what I did because I was like, you know what, I've killed loads of these things, yeah, it's gonna be easy. <laughs> but thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, leave a comment if you want to see anything particular in the next episode of The Witcher Lore. I know these are really not coming out very fast, but I had to make another video for a contest not, not too long ago, but I will be trying to make more of these as the time goes on. But again, thanks for watching, and you guys go and have a good day.